Hello, hello. It is one of the most magical times of the year. It is the Winter Olympics. Uh, this is very special because usually my most magical time of the year is the Tour de France, but every four years, every two years, the Olympics is number one. We have out Olympians this year, and we already have an out Olympian who has won a medal. Irene Wust. Wust? Irene Wust? <laughs> we took a silver in speed skating recently, and it is really a big deal. Um, so why is it a big deal that we have out Olympians? Well, for me, I think visibility is a powerful tool for social change. It is my one of my taglines, and I think it's really, really true. If you can see it, you can be it. And so, the fact that we have out athletes who identify as LGBTQ, we don't have any trans athletes in the Olympics yet that we know of, um, the fact that we have lesbian, gay, bisexual, and queer athletes in the Olympics open about their identity and competing at the highest level in their sports is incredible because young people can see that, other athletes can see that, and know that it's possible to be your authentic self and continue to play the sports that you love at a high level, at a successful level, and to be one of the best in the world in your sport and still be your authentic self. I think it's a really big deal because for a long time we haven't had those out role models that people can look to to say it is possible, it can be done. It's really important because this signifies a movement it signifies that we are making progress in creating more inclusive spaces in sport. And that's really what the work that I've been doing with You Can Play, that's the work that so many others in the sports equality movement have been doing to make sure that people understand what casual homophobia is and to make more inclusive policies for trans and non-binary athletes. I think it's a really big deal to have athletes not only competing in the Olympics and being out about their identity, but also having major sponsorship attached to their careers in athletics. To see Gus Kenworthy on the advertisements for United, uh, all of the billboards in the United Terminal, as well as the video before the plane takes off, and on the commercials on TV. To see him in a head and shoulders ad prior to the Olympics, holding a rainbow flag behind him. It's incredible because it's a very clear declaration of his identity, and it's something that he's being embraced for. And we haven't seen that much in the past in terms of athletics as well. So I think this signifies a real turning point, in my mind, for out athletes, to say that it is possible to compete at the highest levels and be out and open about your identity, um, we know that it's not safe or comfortable for all people to be out. And I will continue to reemphasize this because I think this, uh, while I'm super excited that people are out and visible, I think it's important to also note at the same time that the end goal is not to have everybody be out because in today's environment, I know that it's just not safe for some people. Um, depending on what country you're in, it could be a death sentence to be out. But in the United States and in Canada and North America, I know that there are a number of factors why one might not want to come out, including financial status, family relationships, uh, work status, home. I think there are a lot of reasons. Um, but the fact that these athletes have been able to continue to pursue their career in sport and also be at a point where they can be open and visible with their identity, it makes them role models on an exponential level. I think all athletes that go to the Olympics are incredible role models in terms of sports performance. I know that not, not all of them are great people, that's just the truth. Uh, but they are perf sports performance role models. And I think just being out and visible with one's identity puts these athletes on a different level. And so 
I, as a queer person, as a trans person, as someone fighting for equality in sports, am so pumped to see out Olympians this year, and I am rooting for all of them, no matter what country they're from. I love the Olympics. I love the Olympics. I don't have a TV at home, and so right now I'm traveling, I'm in this cool hotel room, and I watched the Olympics until two in the morning last night, and I continue to watch it. Um, I just turned it off so I could film this, but it will come right back on, and it will be on for the duration of my stay here. Um, I, it just gives me goosebumps. It's such an amazing, um, it's such an amazing thing to see people achieve their dreams. And I know that as an athlete, to make it to that level, to make it to any high level in your sport takes a tremendous amount of dedication and resilience and hard work and such a, an amazing team around you because none of these athletes made it there themselves. And so, you know, I love those commercials with um, like the Thanks Mom commercials. Oh, oh my gosh. Just the Olympics in general just makes me cry uh, because I like I'm, I'm just so incredibly touched because I know the hard work that goes into um, into working toward your dreams and they are experiencing it at a much higher level and Every time I see a medal ceremony, I'm just like, it doesn't even matter who won, I'm just like so touched by it. So um, this is the most wonderful time of 2018 in uh, February right now. And the tour will come and then there'll be other great things. But in terms of me watching television, I don't have a TV at home. I'm tuning in on, on TV, online, just so excited to see people achieving their dreams, competing at a high level, and to see people who are openly lesbian, gay, bisexual, and queer on the world's biggest stage. So that is the reason it is important to have out Olympians. Visibility is a powerful tool for social change. Sport is a vehicle for social change. And the Olympics is the world's biggest stage. So congrats to all the out Olympians. I'm rooting for you. And for everyone, it's just such an exciting time. I love it so much. All right.